Hello Collective, welcome back to the Ascended Divination Priestess channel. You are greatly appreciated. I'm sending you all lots of love, joy, peace, and happiness. Many, many blessings to you and your families. As always, I return to source, I return to sender. All negative energies in your tent immediately and permanently. I call in only the purest of white light and pray that you stay only in the highest of vibrational energies. Whatever the enemy has stolen from you, it is returned to you. All evil and negative plans against you are dismantled and being dismantled as we speak. As I have said, as so shall it be. Judgment is final. Let's go ahead and get into our tarot. I hope you all are doing well, staying blessed and highly favored because you really are. Anyways, we have a king, a queen of swords out here that may be looking into something, maybe had to mend something, or maybe you are this queen of swords that's taking action to balance or fix something, uh, something that people have been trying to destroy for a long time. There may be a, a, a situation where you got a queen of swords trying to figure out how she can cause you distress, but you keep healing. And it's causing her problems. She does not want you healing because if you're healed, then it's not so easy to cause problems in your life, right? Because they want you stuck in your mind. They may be trying to have you trapped in some type of ridiculous situation, but you're not. This came out sideways. This woman is unsure of herself. This is someone very karmic, very uh, manipulative, stuck in some type of old mindset of magic, stuck in the past, basically, is what I'm trying to say. Someone only knows how to get what they want in life through manipulation. And she's going through some type of hardship or I don't know what this is. She's going through karma. I really don't care, but I'm here to do my message. Today is my last day addressing these people. After today, you're going to have to find another practitioner to waste your time. Anyways, um, so the this queen of swords here is looking into something. I don't know if she's trying to figure out how to heal something with you, how to mend something with you. Someone may have been... Uh, doing a whole lot behind the scenes and the truth is coming out about how she was trying to trap you, how she's been lying, how she's jealous of you and things like that, trying to cause you some type of uh, distress. Someone may have betrayed you heavily and they're angry at you for receiving, for refusing uh, to be confused, basically, is what I'm getting, is that someone is pissed off that you are not confused. You are not angry. You're not accepting their offer or something like that. I don't know what this is. Uh, they may even feel trapped within a community. That don't got nothing to do with you. This person chose to collaborate with these people. It's like someone that should have self-respect, put all their self-respect to the side of the world and decided to go lower their status or whatever to collaborate with a bunch of morons i don't know what this is i don't know i really don't care it's my last day folks it's my last day i feel like i've been working for these people and it's my last day i'm retiring from them you know when it's your last day on the job you don't have two f's to give not one not two not three not any okay so i don't get two f's today tomorrow or any day because it's my last day addressing this nonsense for these people okay Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Uh, there may be some type of jealousy towards the Queen of Pentacles for being for being independent, being an independent contractor. Basically, these people don't want you to be free to be doing things up on your own. But the decisions you've made in your life is why you are able to move on your own. It don't matter how much money you have, how much money you don't have. Your authenticity, your originality, your uh, 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 dedication, your discipline. Everything about you is why you are who you are and why you are where you are and why you are going where you are. I'm telling you why you're going where you're going, why you're moving on to what? New beginnings and what? Abundance. Thank you. How you're getting there, when you're going to get there, nobody knows. You probably don't even know either. The most high moves in silence. I'm telling you, the most high moves in silence. They're balancing the situation out for you. You may end up working for a king of pentacles that's trying to get in contact with you, but these people are trying to block your communications and things of that nature. But all things will come together in due time. Do not hurt your head. Do not be in distress. Do not be discouraged. For the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. And be strong and courageous. Do not be terrified. Do not be discouraged. Anyways, so you are being told not to be discouraged. You are being told to keep the faith, keep the hope alive, stay blessed and highly favored because you are. Whatever these people are doing is going to be backfiring on them. It's actually already backfiring from what I've been told. There's a queen of pentacles. Um, this queen of swords here. There's a queen of pentacles in a community that's to toxic and karmic as heck and, and is being seen for a facade that she is. But there's a queen of swords in a community that's going through some type of karma. Someone is losing their mental behind the scenes. Like, whatever this woman is going through, I wouldn't wish it on my work 
worst nightmare. My worst enemy, excuse me. This is like your worst nightmare brought into reality. Someone is going through some type of karma right now. Like their mental is all over the place. She's mentally unstable, losing her mind because two people will be coming together. Or someone still wants to come towards you because there's someone listening to their intuition. It could be a couple she was working with behind the scenes against you. And maybe they're choosing to listen to their intuition and move on with their life. Because there's something off about this queen of swords. It's what they are saying. Maybe this couple is choosing to balance things out. This woman has been working really hard to block justice. Block things from playing out in your favor. You could have someone that is of a legal authority in the judicial system. That is listening to their intuition or something. Or maybe seeking some type of advice from a higher energy on how to proceed with a uh, situation they may be trying to trap yeah he's going to go seek advice they may be trying to trap this official or something to block him or her from balancing something out so if you are a judge a lawyer a pi a police officer or whatever throw with caution be vigilant because there's some type of plotting these people are desperate they are absolutely desperate Okay, to do something, to block something, to have someone living in some type of poverty mindset. When something is balanced out, these people are going to lose their mind. They're going to pass out. I see someone being so angry that they may do something that lands them in jail. Uh, this is how angry these people are. But there's a woman, a queen of swords within a community that's pissed off because you are healing. You are listening to your intuition. There's something they want to take from you, but they cannot take it from you legally because it doesn't belong to them. Kind of think of someone taking you to court to take what's yours like your intellectual property talking about I, I think i should have that because they were talking about me and the whole time you don't even know who this mother effer is you're seeing them for the first time in court oh who the heck are you and they're like yeah i'm the one you've been talking about blah, blah, blah. i'm like huh okay anyways or just even think of someone maybe you met before worked with before went to school before you went to church with before and they're talking about you were talking about them you haven't seen this mother ever in two years three years 10 years 15 years and you're like who the heck is this person i'm trying really hard to remember you but i'm I, i'm coming up short you're gonna have to help me sister help me can't come up with nothing Someone you worked with so long ago, they are so irrelevant in your life. It don't even make no sense. But they've been stalking you for years, months, weeks. And they think that you and them are in some type of war and you don't know about the war. That, that's where we are, folks. That's where we are. Don't make no sense. Um, but there's something where people are upset because justice is playing out. Things are being balanced out. You're coming out of the cold and stepping into abundance. This is something people have been trying to block for a long time. The truth is out. There's clarity in a matter about a group of people. Either a toxic couple, a toxic individual, a toxic community. Could be some type of cult-like mentality going on here. Or this is a cult that's been going on for a long time. They don't want their secrets out. The secrets are out. Everybody knows. Everybody knows. They don't even want so far, some of them are turning the whole city against a light worker and it's still ain't going to lead to nothing but disappointments and time. Time for them in the penitentiary. Financial loss and insecurity. Fear, toxicity, right? Light. Okay, instability. So you go keep on collaborating. It ain't gonna lead to nothing. Keep on collaborating and plotting. All it's gonna do is lead right to a tower. All they're trying to do is block someone's confidence. They don't want you to be confident. This woman is pissed off that you are confident. You're supposed to know your place because you are this or whatever you are. It's what I picked up. There's some type of elitist mindset, prejudice mindset, bigotry mindset in a community. Funny thing is that there's these kind of people working with them as well. And they're all on the scene. <sighs> Ooh, they're all on the same page. It don't make no sense. Can you imagine being part of something where you're looked down on and you're still saying we're family? Lord have mercy. What kind of family is that? I don't want to be part of that family. No, thank you. Uh, anyways. So, someone may be upset because... Um, they were trying to trap you and you. Like someone is still out here paying for blockages, playing, paying for still mix, paying for a lot of confusions and just too much, too much to be doing at your age is embarrassing. Quite honestly, I pray that none of us in the light working community age to be this way because it's quite embarrassing. I don't know. Like I would be embarrassed to even like, can you imagine your child looking at you carry out these kind of behaviors and, you're just comfortably carrying it out. This woman is so insecure with this eight of swords below her. Someone is so insecure. Just insecure. And that is the reason why she's just out here trying to do you something. Because someone sees you as a younger energy that you 
Baby, you're just a little bit too confident for her. You know, the Page of Cups people, those are happy, bubbly people. You know, very eccentric, lively. And then here she comes with her dulled personality and she wants to be upset because you're young, vibrant, and skilled and got the audacity to either be handsome or beautiful. Or beautiful. Um, and got the audacity to be receiving everything you want from the most high. All you got to do is ask. Meanwhile, she got a tiptoe, backflip, high jumps, climb ropes, swing, all kinds of stuff to be able to get some money in her wallet because she got to manipulate and steal. This is a thief I'm picking up on. Whoever this point of source is in a community, this is a thief. This is someone that does nothing but manipulate. She's manipulating people in a meeting so that something does not go in your favor. This is all this woman has been doing the entire time. There's a queen of source within a community. I don't know why you all keep allowing this woman in a meeting. All she's doing is causing you all a lot of confusion. Conflict, okay? She's manipulating you. Someone makes it seem that like she's an advocate. She's not an advocate. This is a manipulator. That's all she's ever been. And if you didn't know, that's the truth about her, okay? This is clarity for you all. This woman is nothing but a manipulator. That's all she's ever been. That's all she'll ever be. She don't care how her actions affect other people. This is someone going through some type of distress behind the scenes because of something she did to whoever it is you all are discussing. May have taken some type of reckless, I'm telling you, reckless action, impulsive action to do someone something. If someone was trying to take action to move towards another energy to balance something out, she did something to block them from moving on, uh, from giving that offer. Someone is reckless, and this is someone you all would not, not expect to be in this kind of energy. It's embarrassing once again, but this is someone headed straight for poverty, about to lose it all. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah, I'm telling you, she's mad because you're having a new beginning, Collective. You're healing. You're recovering. You're listening to your intuition. You're gifted as heck. You're a high priestess having a new beginning. Baby, what else can we say? You're still hopeful out here, and she's pissed off about that. Should we care? No, we should not care. Listen, no, we don't care. Someone's going through their woes, their, their sorrows, going through endings in silence. She's trying to hide it from the rest of the group, but we'll see how long you can hide that. You're going to have to move on at some point because your finances ain't looking too good. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Stay blessed. I'll see you in the next read. Goodbye for now.